Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. In this video, you are going to learn how to multiply fractions, whether it's a whole number by a fraction or a fraction by a fraction. And as you can see, there are four problems on your screen. We're going to do these four problems together, and then you'll try four on your own over at the Mastery Check. The link to the Mastery Check is down in the description, by the way. So for number one, we have six times one third. So a whole number times a fraction. Now when we multiply fractions, all we need to do is multiply straight across. So numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So the first thing we need to do with the six is make it into a fraction. Whenever you have a whole number, you can make it into a fraction by putting it over one. That way, you have a numerator and a denominator. Bring down the multiplication sign and the one third. Now, we multiply straight across. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So six times one is six, one times three is three. So our answer is six thirds. But that's an improper fraction, meaning the numerator, the top number, is larger than the denominator, the bottom number. So you never leave an answer um, improper. So how to convert it out of improper fraction, we need to divide the numerator, the top number, by the denominator. So 6 divided by 3. That's going to give us a whole number here. So how many whole groups of 3 can we pull out of 6? Well. 2. Now once we do that, is there anything left over? Is there a remainder? No. So our answer is 2. So 6 times 1 third is 2. Now I want you to take a look at this answer compared to our problem. Because normally we think when we multiply two numbers, we should get larger in value, our answer should grow in value, right? If you did 6 times 2, we get 12. But here we started with a 6 and we ended up with a 2. And that's because we multiplied by a fraction that's less than one whole. So whenever you multiply by something less than a whole, you actually your answer is going to decrease in value from what you started with. So let's take a look at number 2. We have 12, so it's a whole number. Let's put it over 1, and we multiply by 3 fifths. So go straight across. 12 times 3, 36. 1 times 5 is 5. So 36 fifths. So what we need to do now, that's our answer, but it's improper. So we need to divide the numerator by the denominator. So 36 divided by 5. So how many whole groups of 5 can we pull out of 36? And the answer is 7 wholes. So that's our whole number here. But we didn't hit 36 exactly. We have a remainder or something left over. So 7 times 5 is 35. Subtract to find out what the remainder is, and it's 1. So that 1 is actually going to be the numerator of our fractional part of this mixed number. A mixed number has a whole number and a fraction. So our remainder is the numerator, and we keep the denominator the same. So we bring that 5 over. So 7 and 1 fifth. So again, we started with 12, and we multiplied by something less than a whole. So our answer actually decreased in value relative to what we started with in the problem. And that's okay because we multiplied by something less than one whole. So number three, we have three fourths times two thirds. All right, straight across, three times two is six and four times three is 12. So our answer is six twelfths. Now that fraction can be simplified. It's a proper fraction, but we have a greatest common factor between the six and the 12 that we can break down or simplify this fraction into its lowest terms. And that greatest common factor is six. So let's divide both of these by six. Six divided by six is one, 
and 12 divided by 6 is 2. Now that fraction cannot be broken down anymore. The only common factor between 1 and 2 is 1, so we are done. The answer to number 3 is 1 half. All right, number four, we have one seventh times two thirds. Straight across, one times two is two, and seven times three, 21. So we get two over 21. Now the only common factor between two and 21 is one. So we are simplified here. That's as far as that fraction can break down. So we are done, two over 21. All right, there you have it. So that's multiplying fractions. You just multiply straight across numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, and then see if you can simplify your answer. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, peace.